Hello everyone, it's Chantel from Crow Chantel, and welcome to the first challenge ever on this channel. So today I'm going to be making pumpkins. I have some example pumpkins right here, but I'm going to be making it with this giant yarn. I've never used yarn this chunky before, so I'm very excited. So what I'm going to do for this challenge, I'm going to be using this yarn, and I'm going to be crocheting with my hands. See, I don't know if this is a thing. I've seen people finger knit arm knit, crochet, finger, finger crochet, never before seen. It's probably been seen, but I feel like this will be a really fun challenge. I'm actually very excited to try this. I practiced a little bit, like an hour or two ago, but we're going to see how this is going to work out. So what I'm going to start off with is making the magic ring and then chaining one. wonder, like, should I do this tutorial style? I don't know. Do you guys know how to make a magic ring? I'm going to chain one. Oh no. I like to close off my magic rings before working single crochets into them. So anyway, so I have this chain one. I'm going to attempt the first single crochet. So I'm using like my finger as a crochet hook. I'm going into, oh that's way too tight. So I'm going to take my finger, go in, yarn over, pull through, take my finger out, and then just pull through the two loops. So if you guys want the actual tutorial on how to make a pumpkin, I'll link it in the iCard. So I'm counting the first chain that I did as a single crochet, and then I have another single crochet done. I'm only going to make this pumpkin like 16 stitches around because it's going to end up huge if I don't like hold back a little bit. So this is going to take so long too. Three stitches. Oh no. This is so hard. Ah, how many stitches is that? Wait, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's not bad. Like, I'm starting to get the shape. Okay, I'm going to finish off the eight single crochets, and then I'm going to come back, because this is taking forever. I'm just taking my phone off so then I could show you guys uh, what it looks like up close. So this is eight stitches. Like, that's huge. Like, for reference, this is 48 stitches around. Like, it's, it's huge. So the crochet tutorial YouTuber in me is, like, screaming right now, so I have to show you guys how I'm doing this. So going into the stitch, so... This is the next stitch. It's really easy to see like when it's huge and stuff. Sorry, I'm not centered. I'm like trying to look at my camera through my tripod. So I'm just putting my finger into the next stitch, but honestly, you could just even go like this and pull your yarn through. For me, it's easier to like hook it like my finger's a crochet hook and pull it through. So then you have these two loops and then pull your yarn through the one loop and then pull your yarn through the first loop. And then that's one stitch down. For this next row, I'm increasing to 16 stitches around. It's like, this is kind of difficult. It's kind of a workout, not really a workout, but like compared to regular crocheting, it is not nearly as easy. So that's my first increase of eight. Yeah, I kind of want to do more challenges like this. I made a Google form like several weeks ago now. I can't believe it's been that long. Um, and someone was like, I want to see more creativity in the crochet space. Like, because it's kind of just the same stuff that you end up seeing over and over again. Obviously, because there's only so many ways that crochet can be done. Um, so I thought this could be a fun little challenge that I don't think I've seen someone do yet. Maybe they have. I'm probably just, I don't pay much attention. I don't go online that much. Shocking, considering my whole business is run through social media but like I try to avoid consuming too much content so I actually don't know <laughs> what's been happening what's been done what hasn't I should mark my stitch someone commented on one of my shorts recently and they're like you shouldn't use a bobby pin as a stitch marker I mean, why not it ruins the yarn which is probably completely fair but I'm using a safety pin I don't have stitch markers I don't have j actual stitch markers I just use a bobby pin that I like bend out a bit. Okay. And I also use a Sol de Janeiro travel bag to hold all my crochet hooks. I'm real fancy, you guys. Real, real fancy. Now the next stitch. So I feel like this isn't fun and exciting for you guys to watch. Like me <laughs> just sitting here. I should probably do some over the shoulder like time lapse shots. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let me just finish this stitch first. Honestly, this isn't atrocious so far. I'm just going to single crochet around for a couple rows and then start decreasing, maybe. I don't know. 
this is proving to be a lot more time consuming than I thought it was going to be. So, so I've decided we're going to change the angles. Um, you're going to get to watch me do the last row. So I've done three rows of straight single crochet. Um, I'm getting so much faster at it. I like zipped right through those. I swear it was like five minutes since the last time I recorded. It's been so weird. It's gonna, I'm going to sound like such an iPad kid. But whenever I crochet, I need either a podcast or a video running. I very rarely crochet in silence. And if I do, I end up just kind of sitting there and staring into the abyss because I'll just start thinking about like a new design or whatever. I don't know. Like, I mainly just think about, oh, well, what if I crochet? Insert horrific idea here. This is such a forearm workout. If you're going to try this, which I highly recommend you do, this is so fun. But like my right forearm, I'm going to need to do some serious stretching after this because of how much I'm cranking. See, I feel like my hair keeps rubbing against the mic and I'm going to cry if this audio is garbage. Also, if you haven't noticed, I did cut my hair. I was like, you know what? Let's try something new. Try something fun. Okay, so here is the pumpkin. It doesn't look like a pumpkin. This black bowl. So I think I'm going to decrease now to eight stitches. And then I'll stuff it, and then I'll close the opening. I never work with Bernat Blanket Yarn. So I was so, like, when I got it, I was so happy. Like, I was like, yes, more yarn. I don't need more yarn. But I was like, yes, I love this. Now I'm like, well, what do I do with it? Okay, the decreasing, you guys know how to do a decrease. If not, watch one of my tutorials. I think I have a tutorial up. I'll link it in whichever corner it is. What is Sorry, I'm watching a squirrel, like, parkour. Anyways, yeah. Learn how to do a decrease, and then make this pumpkin. Okay, so I'm just, like, panicking. So I record on my phone, because I, I don't make enough on YouTube to warrant me buying a camera. So I'm using my phone, and then I have, like, no storage on my phone, so half the time when I'm recording, your storage is full. So then I have to go through my storage, delete everything before I can even continue my tutorials or my videos it's not even always tutorials so i finished the last decrease and then i'm gonna stuff this and then i'll sew the opening close and then shape it and then i don't know what i'm gonna use for the stem but i'll figure it out so i just remembered that my mom was going to make her own little pumpkins so we have cinnamon sticks so i'm thinking i'll use that as my stem because i don't have any brown in this yarn i don't think i also don't really want to the stem would end up being huge right okay I'm not going to overstuff this. I want a relatively squishy pumpkin. I think this is good. Can you see it? This is what it looks like. Do I have scissors? I do have scissors. I put them on the chair. So now I'm going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch to fasten off. I talk in such a different voice when I'm doing my tutorials. Maybe I'll just make this like a whole video crocheting without any tools because I am going to close off this opening without using a needle. Frankly, because I don't have a needle thick enough to hold this yarn, you know? So I just sewed close the opening. So now I tie a knot. This is so weird. Oh, I didn't even close it all the way. Okay, now I know what my needles feel like. It's getting shoved and pushed around inside my plushies. How do I weave in my ends? No, okay, pumpkin body done it's been so long i've been recording for so long i need to now figure out how i'm going to do the shaping of this bad boy something is making a sound and that bothers me but yeah i don't have a needle i'm not even allowed to use a needle but even if i did i don't have one long enough to go through this whole thing i'm gonna have to think for a second hey guys epic update oh no i'm being witnessed while i'm recording this is so uncomfortable okay Anyways, I came up with a strategy. Oh, now my dog is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he is confused. Um, so I came up with a strategy. What I'm doing, I'm just taking the yarn, wrapping it underneath the bottom of the pumpkin. This, can you see what I'm doing? Um, wrapping it underneath the bottom of the pumpkin, like this, and then just tying a really tight knot until it creates, like, this line, and then just weaving in the ends at the top. I'm going to do the other two lines, and then we'll almost be done. This is why... Fiber artists don't work with black yarn. You can't see anything. Okay, I think here is good. So I don't need that much. Wait, I feel like I'm wasting yarn. I don't like doing that. So the pumpkin is done. I don't know what the lighting is like. Can you see it? The bottom and the top don't look greatest. Obviously, I couldn't use a needle, so 
um, it was difficult. Now all that's left is the cinnamon stick. Um, come on. Oh, uh, fun fact. Most of you watching are probably American or not Canadian. Fun fact about Canadian products, everything like it's in English and in French. So fun. Why is it shaker? Wh what? Why would I shake out a cinnamon stick? So Okay, I can take it off. But do I just, how does, how do I? This smells so good. Yummy. How do I put it in without it breaking? Uh, that looks so bad. It doesn't look that bad. What if I get a shorter one and then it looks like a shorter stock? Does that look even remotely better? I should have prepared more. Honestly, this isn't bad. Is this the better looking side? This is the nicer looking side of the pumpkin, I think. I'm really quite happy with how this turned out, actually, considering the fact I, first of all, have never done this before. Second of all, I've never used this yarn before. Third of all, I used no tools other than my brain. And then I used a safety pin, but I'm not counting that as a tool, right? Like it didn't, I could have made it without the safety pin. I just did it so it'd be a bit easier. You know what would have made this so much easier is if I had a crochet hook. Anyways, this is probably my sign that I should get bigger crochet hooks, but I think this is cute. I think it's good, you know, all things considering. I'm actually, the stem is growing on me, like the tiny little bitty bitty stem. Let me know if I should hand crochet some more things, because this was actually quite fun. Big arm workout, I will admit, but worth it. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you're still here, you're very awesome. I prefer making these talking videos over the tutorial videos, even though the tutorial videos do better, but I prefer these ones because you guys don't really get to see my personality on Instagram, if we're being completely honest, like me holding a plushie. Like, you know, there's only so much personality you can read off of that. And also my back pills when I do tutorials because of the way I do it. it. We don't need to talk about it, but it is a very painful process for me. So, yes. Thank you. Once again, that's probably like the millionth time I've said thank you. Thank you once again for watching. This was so much fun. I'd love to do more challenges. Drop some challenges in the comments below and I'll try them. Yeah. See you guys in the next one.